with the mother and hypnotic, Jennifer Lopez and Benefolk receive a mixed verdict. Benefolk's lower-profile hypnotic significantly outshines Jennifer Lopez's just-in-time-for-Mother's Day Netflix movie, The Mother, which comes across as an extremely violent Hallmark card. One of Hollywood's most famous power couples score a split decision by starring in separate thrillers that hit the market on the same day. In a film with plenty of action that is either bolstered by inadvertent chuckles or undermined by them, depending on your perspective, Lopez dons her Liam Neeson hat. The kill count typically delivers the necessary thrills, but everything else seems to be assembled using tropes from the genre. The tone is created in the opening scene, in which Lopez plays a skilled sniper who served in Afghanistan. Having been in relationships with both of them, she is negotiating a witness protection agreement in exchange for her testimony against two very nasty persons. After a bloody raid, the woman is taken into FBI custody, giving Eddie Falco just enough time to make an appearance before the nameless assassin is forced to give up her infant daughter in order to save her. When the girl, Zoe, dashes off to rescue her, Lopez's character, who has been hiding out in the Alaskan wilderness for the past 12 years, manages to keep her anonymity. They succeed in doing so, providing a time for mother and daughter to bond while learning martial skills before to the eventual battle. The mother, directed by Nikki Caro, offers Lopez, who also served as producer, the chance to deliver sassy one-liners a la Taken. She suggests killing every last one of them, realizing the girl is being used as bait in a trap. Gail Garcia Bernal and Joseph Fiennes, who are both skilled at harboring resentments, cannot be classified as the same as the terrible boys from her past. Even still, there are scenes that leave viewers scratching their heads, such as a snowmobile chase that seems to have fallen out of a James Bond film. Since earning a deserving Oscar nomination for Hustlers, Lopez has been busy, although her projects have been largely forgettable, like the rom-coms Marry Me and Shotgun Wedding. Although she has admirably taken charge of her job as a producer, her sniper character's aim is far truer than the subject matter she has recently chosen. Of course, Netflix's homepage image of Lopez aiming a rifle while wearing a large fur cap is surely enough to pique the interest of many customers, who will then likely give the mother a try. At one point, the mother says of Zoe's trauma, let this all just be a bad memory. Although the mother isn't all that horrible, that message rings truer than it does.